In this video, we continue with Spring Data JDBC. Today we will create a CRUD example with a many-to-many -many relationship. We start an eclipse with a many-to-many -many relationship between users and authorities. First we look at the authorities. We have an authorities entity record with two fields. ID and authority. Then the authorities repository. The custom query we covered in a previous video. In the authorities service class we have all the methods for our CRUD API. With constructor dependency injection we make authorities repository and users repository available in this class. And the following methods. Get authorities. Get authorities by ID. Get authorities details. Create authorities. Update authorities. And delete authorities. Finally, we have the authorities controller. With constructor dependency injection, we make authorities service available in this class. And the following methods. Get authorities. Get authorities by ID. Get authorities details. Create authorities. Update authorities. And delete authorities. We can start our project a first time and test the authorities section. After we start the project, we can use Insomniant to test the first part of the endpoints. First we test get authorities. This returns the list of all authorities in the database. Then get authorities by ID1. This returns the authority with ID1. The next endpoint is create authorities. Note that the ID is null. In the response look for the ID of the new authority. We need this ID for the update endpoint and the delete endpoint. Next is update. Here we need the ID of the authority we just created. Before deleting the authority we can look again in the list of all authorities. As you can see we now have 4 authorities in the list. Now we can delete the authority. And back to the list where you can see that the authority has been deleted. We are back in Eclipse for the second part of the code. Now we deal with the users. We start with the user's entity record. With the following fields. ID. Username. Password. Account non-expired. Account non-locked. Credentials non-expired. Enabled. First name. Last name, email address, birth date, and a set of users' authorities. And two methods, add authorities, and remove authorities. Note that we use the aggregate reference of authorities ID here each time. The second record is users' authorities with one field. Authorities. Again, we use the aggregate reference. The user's repository class also has a custom query from a previous video to make the details available. The most important class is the user's service class. As in the authority service class, we use constructor dependency injection to make user's repository and authority's repository available. And the following methods. Get users. Get users by ID. Get users details. Create users. Update users. And delete users. These are all the same methods as in the authority service class. For the two methods we skipped. Add authorities and remove authorities need some more explanation. Add authorities is used to assign authorities to a user. First we load the user by ID. Then we give an authority to the user and save everything. 
Since we return user details, we need to load all authorities of the user and compile a user details. Remove authorities works the same way, but now an authority is removed. Finally, we have the user's controller with the same endpoints as the authorities controller with the additional. Add authorities users and remove authorities users. We can restart the project and test the users with Insomnia. We are back in Insomnia to test the second part. We start with get the list of users. We get a list of three users. Get users details of user with ID 1 returns the user developer with the authorities of this user. With create users we can create a new user. Again note ID null. And the ID we get back in the answer. With add authorities we can assign authorities to this new user. Here we assign role user. We can also update this user. Note the ID of the newly created user. If we now look at the list of users we get a list of 4 users. And if we look at the user details of the new user we see that the authorities contain one role user. This is it for today. Thanks for following along.